Ooh, what is up guys and welcome to another Pokemon Topics from yours truly, the Scarender. And today's Topics is actually, is the ending the reason we still have a meta when it comes to Pokemon? And um, it's really not that simple of an answer, I'm just gonna give you my own few thoughts on why I think that's the, that's the purpose or that's the reason we still got a decent meta around. And uh, you don't have to agree with me, this is not the point of the video, the videos show my perspective of what I think and uh, just in general speaking about power saving again and why I think they are important for at least a lot of players um, it is definitely it's definitely something different to try to explain to somebody who are totally against it and think that uh, tampering with the game is um, unsportsful basically or um, that you're cheating and that you go going against of course uh, Everything the game stands for, even though singles and stuff like that are not a part of the game itself when it comes to competitive plays. Uh, what I kind of want to touch on is, what is competitive really, if you think about it, is making uh, perfect IV eggs competitive, or is battles themselves what makes the game competitive? Uh, if you think making eggs and uh, breeding Pokemon are competitive, then you know, I... I won't hold that against you, if anything I'll actually agree to some extent that that's part of the fun. Uh, I really like, of course, uh, reading Pokemon myself, but I'm not totally against people who don't. Uh, it is a time-saving tool, of course, when it comes to getting or power-saving, to not be able to um, have to wait for the perfect Pokemon to come by to be able to battle with it. And um, when it, what it all boils down to is that the most competitive aspect about Pokemon in the end, will always be, um, of course, the ballot themselves. So if you can save yourself some time by using these tools, then I'll say it's fair. It's not for everyone, and it depends on what you're doing with it, but um, I can definitely go behind that statement itself, because what really makes the game is not the, <laughs> the, the breeding process. It's not to that extent. Uh, the most important part is, of course, the battle themselves. and that's in the, in the end is just that the person that using getting tools are getting there faster but the results are still the same and then we come to actually the other argument which is very very common and uh, since i'm actually helping out in the vgc's in sweden i feel i am somewhat entitled to actually speak about this but at the same time um here stay with me on this because i know i'm, I'm touching subjects that people find are very frustrating to agree with or actually arguing against or with and that is, are VGCs really as important and as singles when it comes to competitive battling? And as in VGC, obviously, we're, we are looking to people who are not tampering their games by any chance. And it's actually kind of hard to find out whether or not they've done it. If you use power save, then it's kind of tough. Yenning is easier to find people out with. And of course, these players are getting banned throughout the year. And I think that's okay. When it comes to World Cups and Nationals and Regionals, I really, really don't like people tampering with their game. Now, like I said, it's quite impossible to find out whether or not a person has done this. But the thing is, if you are manipulating your game or game outside of, of course, the VGCs, then I'm, like I said, I'm totally fine with it. I don't see the point of somebody enjoying the game to the fullest with battling in mind. Um, without disturbing anybody. Like I said, VGCs for me are a bit different. I think that is probably where I draw the line of where we actually should stay true to the meta itself. But when it comes outside of that, I really don't see the point of, um, of doing anything else. Plus, you don't really need to be as constructive in VGCs because you only need six months anyway for a complete draft or a complete team. So it's, it's an easy fix. It doesn't really take that long. And uh, th there is basically no reason to actually gen a Pokemon through that. And the reason I have the League's format or have that mentioned is because that's actually the other big part when it comes to Pokemon. If you're not are a VGC player, then obviously you're either a Smogon player, and which usually play on Shodown, of course. And we have the League aspect, which are something I would never, ever in my wildest fantasy see come to fruition. Leagues are... Um, to be frank, really, probably the most unique aspect about the game right now and are, in my regards, the reason the meta is still going because it has forced out 
unique sets. It has forced out Pokemon that usually is not that good to become actually competitive viable and even outshines a lot of mods due to that reason in mind, really. Um, so for that part, I really see power saving ginning is not being fundamental because you are always gonna meet another team. You know what you're facing, but you have to be constructive. You have to create a new team, a new game ideas, new strategies, and that's not something you can breed. You really need to have that fixed. You know, same day, like you have an idea that needs to happen right there and then. Um, it shouldn't take a whole week to create a whole team, or a whole day, basically, to create a whole team and to, you know, EV train them and stuff like that. That's a very, very long process, and for leagues, that's that's not gonna work. And I think that's the reason power saving and ginning has probably been one of the more important aspects when it comes to that kind of place. Uh, like I said, leagues probably is the reason the meta is still going, and the medics can still only go so far and being of course charming and more entitled for everybody if there is easy to fix and obviously the easy fix is to be able to actually use power saving and stuff like that so for that reason alone I think power saving and genning are needed they are probably like I stated before if the battle is part of fun then you need to be able to battle as far or as soon as possible you get one week to prepare and that's basically all the time you need to actually prep for a, a decent team with the same Pokemon, mind you, but with a shift in EVs to speed creep things, to take certain moves, and you don't necessarily have to deal with that when it comes to VGC. So therefore, I say there's a distinct difference between these two VGCs. Like I said, you don't really need to use any tools to be good at the game, while in league format or even in singles, really you need to have something planned out and the only way to do so effectively is by tools of course and now we come to of course the last kind of aspect and that is uh, if these limitation which the game of course having which of course you have the way you have to EV train the way you have to of course create your own mods for breeding if they were still a part of the game, like if there were no tools to actually maintain your mon or playing the game faster for battling faster, would most of these people still play the game? I mean, think about it for a while. I know I myself probably wouldn't. Um, I, I'm even certain that I wouldn't. And it's not because I don't like Pokemon. Hell, I've been playing this game for three years now. So they're doing something right, the, for sure. To be completely frank with you guys, this. This would not have worked for three years if it wasn't ever evolving. I think that's kind of what they have created. But if what if I told you that it wouldn't be as creative or ever evolving if changes weren't fast for me to develop with it? And I think most player kind of feels that way too. It's um, it's very hard to actually develop a complete new team and use that in mind. With small and tears, of course, changing every three months. You actually need to construct your new team for that reason alone. And um, my plan process can take all for, of course, a few a few days to, uh, of course, if I had to breed them, probably a month, depending on, you know, my life. Uh, like I said, it is a faster process. And uh, if it would have taken me a month to create a complete team and only have two months to play the team before it's over, then it, this game probably wouldn't have been for me. Um, I feel with these... Custom tiers, of course, as more represent and leagues, that this game got a whole lot more interesting because VGCs is actually not as big as people make it out to be. It's yes, it is the the competitive form, and uh, the ones that are in it are really good players. I won't really deny that. If anything, I'll actually appreciate those players because they're really creative and smart. But for the rest, who plays this game for fun, guys like me actually. That aspect is not really as interesting. I really wanted to test my brawn out in singles. I really wanted to be the best at that. And uh, since the game itself doesn't let you get that, of course, in tournaments and stuff like that, then Smogon and Leagues was the reason that happened. And the only way that was going to be functioning in the long run was if I could be creative fast. My ideas got. From from the second I got something I wanted to do to uh, to it having done should not take more than a, well a few hours and I do believe with power save that even that only takes a few minutes um, and I think that's an important aspect to remember 
if these limitations, like I said, if they were put into the game without power saving or genin, I'm not so sure Pokemon would be as relevant, and that's the reason I had the title of this video in the end anyway, because genin Pokemon, or actually power saving Pokemon, uh, is the reason we have a meta today. It is that simple. A lot of the best players are playing VGCs and they are legit and they should be just that. I, like I stated before, I think that's the way to go about it. But for the rest, you're playing this for fun. The tools for making this transpire easier is probably the most important aspect about Pokemon right now. And of course, in the upcoming generation, this is still gonna be entitled to it. Because as long as Game Freak doesn't make that process simpler, there are gonna be people finding ways to exploit the game to make the process simpler because most people just want to battle. And with that, with, if that is a hardship and you're in a disadvantage due to not breathing right, then you're doing something wrong. And as long as that exists, that exploit is gonna be used against you. And uh, I myself would really like to see, you know, a Pokemon game where jetting is not a fundamental aspect of it. But the way the game stands, it's very likely that's going to be the way Pokemon is to the next generation too. So yeah, you know, that's the video guys. I hope I get you, got you some aspects. And um, I am basically mumbling this last minute, I know that. But yeah, at the same time, I just want to really give my view across and what I think and what I see. And uh, yeah, like I said, I really want to see something new with the meta. But as long as Pokemon stay the way it is, so is also the meta itself gonna change. So, <sighs> until then, Genning is probably gonna be extremely fundamental. And um, that's only because we like the game so much we wanna keep playing it. If, if, that, if that is taken away from us, then probably most people will stop playing the game. I am really sure about that. Uh, so with that said, guys, you know, leave your own thoughts about what you think about Genning, or if you should say legit and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll respond to them. I really want to know what you guys think. So with all that said, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.